Michigan University Arena, where the Wolverines will be facing the Ohio State Buckeyes. It's Matt Side with Bob Dealey, Amateur Wrestling Video Productions. The Michigan Wrestling uh, Wolverines have an overall dual record of eight and three, five and one in Big Ten competition, and they're ranked number seven in the nation. Ohio State is 18 and five overall, three and three in the Big Ten. The Buckeyes are rated about 16th nationally. Now for the Buckeyes to come on strong in this meet, they must win their first four matches. David Raines at 118, Adam DeSabato at 126, Mark Marinelli is 27, and they got 14, that's not right. Mark doesn't have uh, more than four or five losses. Uh, oh, I see what it is, he's 24, seven and two. They got him mixed up with Mike DeSabato. Now the key match today, from my perspective, will be freshman Flash, Joey Gilbert, who is now 9-1-1 in dual meet competition, 31-6, and and one tie in national competition. So this will be the key match at 134 pounds. Joey Gilbert of the Wolverines versus the Buckeye stalwart Mark Marinelli. And from there, we'll let the mat action speak for itself. Good evening, Buckeyes and the Michigan Wolverines. Ohio State is 18 and 5, 3 and 3 in the Big Ten, and is coached by Russ Hellickson. Michigan is 8 and 3, 5 and 1 in the Big Ten, and is coached by Dale Barr and assisted by Joe Wells, Kirk Trost, and Ed Bankowski. Tonight's lineup, leading off from Michigan at 118 pounds, sophomore Jason Clough. For Ohio State, 118 pounder David Green. At 126 pounds, Salem Yaffe. For Ohio State, Adam DiSabato. At 134, Freshman Joey Gilbert. For Ohio State, Mark Marinelli. At 142, for Michigan, James Rawls. For Ohio State, Mike DiSabato. At 150 for Michigan, James Felkamp or Steve Benninger. For Ohio State, Nick Lee. At 158 pounds. At 167, senior Justin Spiewak. For Ohio State, for the Buckeyes, it'll be Dan Ritchie. At 190 pounds, senior Fritz Lurkey. For Ohio State, Keith Beetlebue. And at heavyweight, for Michigan, Phil Tomek. For Ohio State, Aaron Schultz. All right, we're ready to get events underway. We have the Michigan Wolverines. Jason Clough, a sophomore out of Baroda, Michigan, up against Dave Range, a junior, out of Cleveland, Ohio. Range has a record of 28-9-1. Up against Clough, who's overall 16-14. and So Range should have the upper hand will let events unfold. See what transpires. Jason Clough. Stocky youngster. Range likes to underhook. Let's see if he works off of it. He's on his knees, hits a single, block. All right, Clough hits a front headlock. Range is going to come on up. He's going to come on up. He should be able to pull him in. All right, Clough is still working off that front headlock. Dave's got to come on up. There it is. Oh, he should have stepped in and with a body lock. Range in a tie-up position. Not working his underhook. 
Wayne's got to get a stutter step. He's, his movement is not spontaneous. Now he's getting into the rhythm of the match, tying up. We have uh, three minutes for the first period. Oh, he's hitting a nice drag. Clough is sort of maintaining control of the match so far. We have a minute of the first period gone. There's three minutes. It's three minutes, two and two. Three, three minutes, three. There's Range with a single. Doesn't follow through. Range is getting a little more rhythm now. He's tying up. All right, Range still hasn't gotten into the uh, flow of the match. He's floundering out there. Now he's starting to pop, pop. He's got to control that. Now he's working. There it is. Okay, at least he made a valiant attempt there. Now he's taking charge. Snaps him down. He's got an underhook. Let's see if he can convert off there. Jason Clough, a, fr a freshman from the University of Michigan, up against Range, with a much more impo imposing record, but so far has been stymied. He's going to his knees. It's a single. All right, now David has an underhook. He's got to push-pull, push-pull, and take that man and work. He's not getting enough mobility off of his tie up there. There's a lot of head blocking there, right? The referee's letting him get away with it. This is the perennial problem with college and freestyle wrestling. Too much head blocking. All right, range is out of bounds. 26 seconds left. It's imperative. Uh, range take over control. Oh, there he hits a single. Let's see if he can finish it off. It's a trick to a double. There it is. Good job. Uh, that was a questionable call. He, oh, he's trying a good. Well, Range is saved by the bell. We almost had a homer situation. He had him taken down. The ref didn't give him that initial takedown. Okay, range is down. Down position. He's ahead. Two to zip. Clough they have as a freshman. And, all right, range has to reach back. Got to come on up. He can't get stretched out there. David doesn't have good hand control. He's got to go into the man's power. There he is. He's got a base. He should be working out. Now, in college wrestling, we have what we call uh, riding time. If you accumulate more than a minute, a minute or more, you're entitled to an additional point. All right, we're in the second period. Reigns is moving ineffectively. Clough is breaking him down. Reigns. Oh, Range should have sat out on his hips and completed that move. He had a nice elevator there, failed to complete it. Now he's got to turn into that man. He's getting ridden. As far as escaping, we have a minute and seven seconds left. Second period, there's something wrong. Should be 53 minutes. If he hits another... False move, he's assessed a point. Now let's check this referee out, see if he's consistent in his calling. Irene still has no hand control. Uh-uh. Plus six and a half. The crossbody ride. Still me. Let up now. 
Now, what Range isn't doing, he's not going into the man's power. You have to have low hips, high head. He's getting himself stretched out, and I'm afraid he's going to be assessed. Uh-uh. Clough has a bar arm. He's going to come up to the head. He's going to try a tilt. All right, Range isn't moving. He's just eating that mat. Very. Pops on out. Seventeen, sixteen seconds left of the second period. Range in the lead, three to zip. David doesn't have too much rhythm here. The seasoned veteran, he should be handling the Michigan youngster. Now it's imperative, range ride him at least 28 seconds to nullify the riding time here. David, range on top. Let's see how he rides. All right, range under hooks. He's got to really arch that leg. He's got to arch. He's not stretching him enough. There's a good arch. Gonna try to work a tilt here. Uh-uh, Dave's in trouble. All right. Oh, we got an interesting situation. Oh, we got a reversal. All right, we got a stalemate. Range recovers. Nice job. That was nip and tuck there for a while. Oh, he turns him. Well, potentially dangerous. David had to work pretty hard to get out of that situation. Uh, I think we have an overzealous referee there. Range had a potential leg lace there. We got a minute and four seconds left in the mat. Range is way high. He's going for a banana split here. Now the referee's calling it like a high school match. The referee should get into the darn thing. Let the kids wrestle. Uh, this is an example of a referee taking over the flow of the match. Let the kids wrestle. Range is high again. All right, 52 seconds left. They've got a half by. He's awful high. Awful high. Well, if he keeps it there, he's all right. All right, hey. Uh, now that was a homer call, plain unadulterated. This referee is incompetent and he's showing his favoritism right off the bat. I mean, that's garbage. All right. Now, Michigan, Clough has to take him down. Our range is running it. 14 seconds. Okay. Now Dave should pull this match out, but he didn't really wrestle. Okay, we got one for the Buckeyes. Three to one. When you win a match with less than eight points, you get three team total scores. If you win between eight and 14, now we have Adam DeSabato against Salem. We just call him Salem. Adam has wrestled this youngster repeatedly and repeatedly has beaten him pretty good. But they're both up to 26. Salem last year was an 18-pounder. 
He has a record of uh, 19 wins, 16 losses. Adam has been in a little slump lately. It's good he had a mid-season slump. Adam hits a low single way out, way out. Referee was a little apprehensive the way Adam uh, shoved him out of bounds. Uh, this is not a tea party, this is a wrestling match. No action so far. Jafar is controlling the match. He's not letting Adam set the tempo. Now, there is Adam has to circle. Now, Adam made a mistake there, trying to push the guy out of bounds instead of circling and get in control of the match. All right, we have a minute and 49 seconds ago, no score of the first period, which comprises three minutes in length. The second and third period are respectively two minutes each. This is folk style collegiate wrestling. Ohio State University's Adam DeSabato against Salem Yafa. Adam is not in control. He's not popping this guy. Oh, he hits a good move. But he went to his knees. Adam's rotating. No! No! He did not check him. He did not check him. This guy's a homer. In other words, Adam rotated. He never had him under control. All right, Adam has to go two on one. He's all right. He's up a little too high. Okay. Right, Adam has to go to work now. He's behind two to one. Did a nice job peeling those hands. Let's see if he gets his rhythm. Yafai is 19 and 60. Got a two on one. Adam's shooting way out, telegraphing it. It's very obvious. Going to his knees. He's not, he doesn't have his finesse. He's clumping out there. Score is 2 1, Michigan. 41 seconds left of the first period. Now, what Adam isn't doing, he's not getting off first. He's allowing Salem Yafa to set up the moves and penetrate. Now, See, he's shooting way out. It's horrible. I mean, uh, he's telegraphing that. Adam's confidence and flow is sadly lacking. He's not into the rhythm of the meet here. That ends the first period. Adam behind two to one. the first period, the score of Michigan 2, Ohio State 1. Adam DeSavado down, we're into the second period at two minutes of duration. If you escape, you get one point. If you reverse the man, you get two. Adam has good hand control, turns in real nice. That's a good single, he's got to switch, he's got to switch. He didn't switch. Adam trying a two on one, clear it out. Now what, Ad, what happened there, Adam got a real good single, went to the knees, did not switch to a double, and was countered very effectively by Salem Yaffa. All right, Adam peels that two on one. All right, that's three to four. Adam has no smoothness. He's clumping. Oh my goodness. Nice job. Real good kickoff. He limped, limped out there. That'll wake him up. No, he's not into it. I might wake him up. Well, I hope so. 
Now, there's not supposed to be coaching. The referee's derelict, and uh, the ref's lacking control of the meet. After a brief time out, the score means Michigan 4, Ohio State 3. All right, Adam DeSavado's clumping out there. He's making shots, not following through. His head is down. He's losing his balance. He has no coordination. Oh, we're in interesting situation. Adam's countering good. Got a body lock. Okay, should be able to hold it off. Adam's coming out with a wizard series. Oh! Great wrestling. Defy has really increased his proficiency over last year. Adam owned him. Now what's happening, the Michigan youngster is acquiring riding time. He has 52 seconds. Yeah, last year Adam owned this guy. This year uh, Yafai is coming on real strong. Adam got to escape. Okay, he got to. Adam is very, very tentative. He has no movement off the feet there. His confidence level is very precarious. Doesn't feel comfortable. He's looking at that time clock. Each second is an eternity. Look at that. <laughs> Adam DeSavado of the Buckeyes. And the Scarlet and Gray is behind six to four. Salem. Now, Adam has to control the match. Plunging, plunging. It's a good move. Let's see the heads going down. There it is. He's not switching to a double, see? He has to switch to a double. All right, tries an Iranian dump. All he got to do is go back in there. Two points, okay. That makes it six to seven. Adam will let him go. He's got to. Take it down. All right, Adam's back into business. At six to eight. Look at his posture. Look, uh, uh, Adam isn't set up right. His head is being controlled. All right, he's in there tight. He's going on his knees. Oh, that was close. His supporting point. Oh, yeah. He was lucky to get out of bounds. Uh, he looks horrible in balance. All right, we got 56 seconds left. Now, uh, Michigan made a little uh, 56 seconds left. Uh, Michigan thinks Adam is uh, oxygen depleted, so let's see what happens here. Adam hits it. He's got to change off. He's rotating. He's rotating. He's got to change to a double. He's not there. It is. He's got it. Okay. Now the best he can do, why did he let him do that? He figured, Adam let him go, I would go for a tie. 27 seconds. Woo, is he lucky, just flopping out there. He's got to hit a move. Eight seconds. There it is. Two. Pull it up. One second to go. One second to go. 
it's a six nothing team score man. Okay, here's the key match. Uh, this is uh, a barn burner here. Marinelli's got to stop uh, Gilbert, the freshman phenom. All right, now what's going to happen? Gilbert's going to go out low and hard. All right, Mark will take over his destiny. Gilbert is 31 6 and 1 overall this season with a 4 1 and 1 Big Ten record. Mark Marinelli. That's not right. That's the wrong record. He's about 29 and, and 6. There it is. There it is. All right, Marinelli stops that lateral drop. Very good job. Watch it. All right, it's imperative Marinelli stop. Joey Gilbert. Oh, okay. Good job, Mark. Lock on Mark. Yeah, he got one out. All right, Mark's going to go to work. All right, he's all right. Yeah. That woke him up. Yeah, All right, we have a hot shot. Joey Gilbert, a tough kid, a freshman, fourth time Indiana, Illinois State champion. All right, he might have uh, cleaned uh, Mark's clock, but Mark got his rhythm there. Now he's all right. Mark's got to take over. He's too tentative. He's too tentative. He's got to set the tone. He can't let Gilbert set the tone. Gilbert's got a low heart. All right, Mark's got a circle. You know. Okay, run it, run it, run it. Front face lock. He hits a knee tap. Oh, we're getting into a good series. There it is. Mark's got it. Got to pull him in. Good job, beautiful. Right, way to go, Mark. Took him back in. Now watch this. He will really stretch him. Gilbert's gonna get stretched. Mark's got a good high turk. All right, hustle. Mark's gotta pop it over. Supporting points are in. All right, Mark gave him a good thrashing there. Might have took a little steam out of him there. We'll see what happened. What's well, different? Definite uh, level different. Senior against. Him. Well, this kid's a hot shot though. He's a tough kid. He was lucky Mark didn't get two back points when he hit that headlock. Fortunately, we had a high school referee. All right, Marinelli is on top. Fisher on bottom. I mean, Gilbert. Okay, we got a C. That's a caution for... Marinelli has a lot of cool, calm, collective tactics. Uh-oh. All right. Marinelli's posting. He's gonna. Marinelli's got a sucker drag. He's got a sucker drag. He's all right. He's got a two on one. Two on one. All right, Mark circle. See. Mark's got control of that head. Nice job. Oh, beautiful. Mark controlled that head real good. Okay, Mark. Mark's got that second move. Uh, what you have is uh, Gilbert's a good first move man, a lot of power, but he doesn't have sequential moves, whereas Mark Marinelli has sequential moves and should if he counters that initial takedown, keep him under control. Good match, a lot of intensity. Ohio State in the lead, 6-zip. As far as team score, this match is 3-3. Oh, Marinelli shot out too far, telegraphed it. He got his two-on-one Russian tie-up. 
Steps in, he got an underhook. Blocks Fisher's, I mean Gilbert's. I, I skipped the Gilbert. Okay, that ends the first period. No problem. Still only four seconds to go in the first period. Michigan and Ohio State tied at three apiece. All right, boys are tentative. That ends the first period. Marinelli selects the down position. One point for escape, two for reverse. Marinelli's very effective on escapes. Now watch how he turns into the guy, into his power. He turns in and up, in and up. Watch this very effectively. There it is. There it is. He's got it. He's got it. Marinelli's all right. Very easy. See how systematic he turned in and up into that guy. Joey Gilbert. Now, one mistake Marinelli's making, he's allowing Gilbert to go to the edge of the mat. All right, we got an interesting body lock. Step on in. He's got to step in. Nice trip. All right, Marinelli tries a leg trip. Marinelli in the lead, four to three. All right, Mark is not initiating moves. He's working off. He's got to set the tempo. He's got to set the tempo. All right. Good job. Keep rotating. There it is. Oh, Gilbert has very explosive reaction. All right. Now, Gilbert's backing up. Now, see, this is where Mark has to circle. Mark circle so you don't get the whole mat. Forty-nine seconds left. No riding time. Scores four to three. Ohio State Marinelli over uh, Joey Gilbert, who shoots way out. Mark blocks him. He should score off of here. He should score off of here. There it is. He picks an ankle. Beautiful, beautiful job. He ain't got it. Marinelli's got it. Good job. He picked that ankle. Good job. I knew he picked that ankle there. Popped him there. As the Michigan stalwart is behind, 6 to 3. 26 seconds left. The second period. All right. 46 seconds remaining. All right, it's imperative. Marinelli, write him out. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. There it is. He got back points. Look at this. Marinelli's really spreading him. He picked that. He got a high turk. Got that loose ankle. Boy, is he jamming him. Look at this now. He's really throwing a good high turk. Well, did he get two more points? Like this. Oh, baloney. That was oh. garbage. Hey, ref, two more points. He had the 45 degree plane broken. All right, six four. All right, pick up your tempo, Mark. Okay, there it is. All right, Mark's ahead, six to four. Minute 30 seconds left. Now, Marinelli sort of wrestling Connor. Now, Mark should be turning. He should be rotating so he has the whole mat. There it is. Okay, he got the head control. He's all right. Flatten them out pretty good. 
We have a minute to go. Marinelli in the lead. Six to four. Boys, there it is! Good job! All right, now, experience in class is coming to the fore. Oh, it's been there all along. No, it's... Eight to five. Forty seconds left. Marinelli's got to stay in there. He's got a double underhook. Takes him down. He's got to work off of there. He's got to run him. He's got to jam him. Oh. Let the boys wrestle. Oh boy. Okay, a very convincing victory. Marinelli beat Joey Gilbert. He beat the referee and Joey Gilbert simultaneously. From Michigan, James Rawls. All right. Uh, James Rawls is the son of former Michigan great Jesse Rawls. Rawls is 20 and 14 overall this season, 2 and 4 in the Big Ten. All right, we got a freshman against Mike DeSabato, the Buckeyes. DeSabato goes to 24-72 overall mark. Now, Mike, he's got to try upper body against James Rawls. Jesse Rawls used to wrestle for Michigan back in the late 60s. He wrestled 167, and he wrestled 77, 90 in heavyweight. He was a very impressive performer. Mike sets up a high crotch, doesn't follow through on it. He's getting his confidence, though. The Buckeyes are in the lead, winning the first three matches by a, a team total of nine to zip. That's it, that's it. Oh, Mike should score off of there. Come on up. You're staying down. Keep rotating. Switch. That's a good double. All right, he switched to a double. Okay. Michael. 150 to go in the first period. James Rawl, a freshman out of Harrisburg, PA, for the much Michigan Wolverines is down. Two to zip. Oh boy, you almost killed Mike there. Escape Michigan. One thirty to go. Mike's got to hit another high crotch. Or hit a single and finish it off. 
It's a nice win! A jab win! That's the first time I've ever seen him hit a jab whiz. That's great. Yeah, but he didn't finish it right. That's all right. He hit it. Oh, he hit it. Okay. All right. Mike's controlling the action. We're getting a lot of pummeling. Oh, he hit it and set it up. Didn't finish it through. Well, he's got good movement. 53 seconds to leave the first period. Oh, he almost picked that ankle. See, he's opened up a lot. He's tried a hell of a lot of different stuff. Well, he's better. He's been losing too many matches by close scores. All right, Michael's got a two-on-one. They're near the out-of-bounds. Thirty seconds left. Mike DeSabato in the lead, two to one of the Buckeyes over James Rowles, a freshman out of uh, Harrisburg, PA. Either man. Uh, Really intense at this stage of the match as we wind down. Mike went to sleep. That's all it was. Playing on the dollar rated went no to sleep. Class. Hey, class don't win. You got to win by score. Time will tell. Well, let's see it demonstrated in abundance initially. He was in good position now, right there. He shouldn't have to come on up. Michael sat out twice, and all he had to do was cheer and come through. He's out. Mike DeSavado down 134, was out three times, but did not consummate uh, or complete that movement. He's not turning into the man's power there. James Rowell. Real good job. Yeah, he cleared that out real systematically. So what we're seeing He's got to do is sit on that hip, come up with that head, and he can go. Still me. Fifty-nine seconds left of the second period. Oh, see now he starts that high crouch a little far out, but he doesn't. That trail leg doesn't come up. A lot of head blocking by Rawls. Thirty seconds, a lot of pummeling, a lot of pummeling, but no action. You know, we're getting in a pattern with the Michigan guys wrestling. If you'll notice, they're backing up to the edge of the mat, see? And then the, the Buckeyes are going straight instead of circling and getting control of the mat situation. That seems to be a pattern. Yeah. Now, it's imperative uh, 
Michael pulled this match out so the Bucks can have a um, comfortable lead. Right, he's got an underhook. Scores tied 3 3. 32 seconds riding time. Favor James Rose for the Michigan Wolverines. Mike is defensively oriented. You can see that psychically. He's not. Taking control of that man. He's not wrestling to win, he's just wrestling to. Minute 25 seconds to go. Mike DeSavado behind. Got to set the tempo to pull this out. It hit up. He finishes low with that head down. One of five to go on the net. Minute five to go. Mike the Sabato hits a real good high crotch, but boy, he was lucky. Just James Rawls countered, and if he would have gone to another move, he could have dumped. All right, Mike has a two on one. He's not wrestling. In other words, he's not putting the heat on him. See where that head went? Twenty-seven seconds to go. Can Mike pull it out? Hits the jab wins. Oh, he had it and didn't know it. Oh, he's got it! Switch to a double! There it is! Two! Two! Another peril of Pauline, a cliffhanger of the first dimension. An awesome silence pervades the atmosphere. This is Paul's other lead over Michigan. I never thought he'd switch there, you know. Oh, he was, can do that whenever he wants. He yeah, I could do it. Heck, you know. No, don't give me that That's stuff. Beautiful. Yeah, it was a beautiful job, but you don't wait till two seconds to go to pull out a match. Steve Benninger for Michigan and for our state, Nick Leeds. All right, we have uh, Felt Camp. Uh, Michigan's missing one of their. There's Lee. Hits a nice move. Good counter. Got an underhook. Benninger, sophomore against Nick Leeds. <laughs> Benninger is 0 and 1. Shoots way out. Lee is in a good position to counter. Got to keep that head pressure. Got to keep the head pressure. <laughs> hey, the action was good after the match. Okay. 
Steve Benninger, 0-1. This is his second dual meet of the season. He's 0-1 so far. 1-2 overall. Nick Lieb. The Buckeyes need this. Lieb sort of been in a slump. He had a very imposing record. Now it's back to 14 and 13. 14 and 13. Take it. Go. All right. There's an example. Lieb should have elevated. Popped that leg behind there. Take a shot. Be open. Be open. Be open. Two ten to go. The first period. No score. Steve Benninger, sophomore, up against Nick Lee. The junior from Reynoldsburg, Ohio. All right, Lee got a two on one. Let's see how he works. Okay, Lee should really control this. Got to get that butt control. Control the head. You should elevate and lift. There, he should be able to work off of there. Uh, Lee was about nine tenths behind when the stalemate ensued. really popped them down. He should score off of here, but he didn't leave the pressure. He's got an ankle pick. Run it. He's got to run it. Now, he's got to release that hand there. Oh, he's got it. He's got it. Beautiful. Tap the head. There it is. There it is. Sam Amin is hurt. Steve Benninger is taking his place. Oh, look at Lee. He's really putting the heat on. He got a bar arm series. Now it's coming up for the half. Nelson He's going to turn him. Leave stretching them out pretty good there. Yeah. <laughs> Got that bar arm series. Michigan juices down. All right, Leave has a tendency to get a little high on his uh, legs in search. Let's see what happens here. He's a head four zip. Ohio State pulled two. Last second victories out of the fire. Both the Sabato boys going down to the very last second to snatch victory from the jaws of defeat. Leap throws it in a little high. Oh boy. Oh, is he stretching him? There it is. We're getting into a pinning situation. Uh, now, the Michigan kid's doing a good job. Lieb is really working them over. Hey, ref, this isn't pantyhose wrestling. Let him wrestle. <laughs> you were too rough. This is a dainty tea party assembly. Uh-uh, he's a little high, he's a little high. Oh, he's got it. There it is. Okay. 
Okay. Oh, baby. Switching off, off that high tick, Turk series, half Nelson bar arm. Got a nine to zip lead. <laughs> 33 seconds left of the second period. Ohio State leaving the lead by a convincing nine to zip margin. He's really putting the torture holes. On Steve Benninger, Michigan sophomore, who is 0-1. Uh, he's got it. Now there's a legitimate hole. Let him consummate the move. In the interim, uh, Lieb has uh, accumulated two minutes and 37 seconds of riding time. Yeah. yeah. Michigan's sorely missing Amin. He must be hurt. Uh, Amin was a very competent uh, competitor for the Michigan Wolverines at uh, 150 pounds. He sorely missed her. Sam Amin. All right, Benninger. Now watch this elevated, watch this inside switch to an elevated lift. Oh, nice job, came out real clean. Escape Ohio State. Oh, good job. Nice switch, that's the first arm drag. Look how he got that leg jammed, he lets it go, okay. He's way too high. It's getting a little sloppy. Yeah. All right, Russ Hunt, I'd, uh, he could get it on the mat there. Now, what Lieb has to do, he's got to tilt him. There it is. There it is. Caught it. Good. <laughs> he's got to get a tilt, and then he's got enough riding time, so that'd be a five-point team margin if he gets a 15-point decision. <laughs> yeah, Russ had guilt, good strategy. Should have. Uh, let him go earlier. Now I can see the. He <laughs> <I> got it. <laughs> Let him go. Good job. Okay. Hold him. <laughs> he don't know whether to hold him or let him go. <laughs> okay. We have Nick Lee with a very convincing 17 to 2 lead, making for a 17 to 0. Team score favoring the Buckeyes. Okay, now we have uh, Larry Gotcher. 17 nothing. Now at 158 pounds, Michigan. Larry Gotcher, and for Ohio State, Mike Schick. That's right, man. That's why I'm going to split his leg. All right, Gotcher's a veteran wrestler. Up against Schick. Oh, 
Michigan wants a point because they had scissors. They didn't get it. Larry Goucher, all, two time All American, I think, from Michigan. Mike Schick, the red shirt freshman. Oh, Mike did a nice job stopping that hard single. Snaps him down. Connors with a front headlock. Hey, look at this! That was a heck of a reverse. He stretched them out pretty good. Okay, it's up to Ryan Bull. He ain't gonna wrestle. He's he's through. Okay. Pop her up. All right, what we saw. Goucher's 24, seven and one at 150. And four and one tie. So he's very impressive. Catching. Schick. Off a reverse headlock. It was sort of a combination reverse headlock. All right, now it's up to um, Paul Reinboat. Oh, he hits his sucker drag. I thought he'd pull it through. He's in good shape right here. Now watch Reinboat. He was set up for his uh, reverse sucker drag. Ryan Bolt, 14 and 13, up against uh, a Justin Spiwa, a senior with a one and one record. <laughs> Ryan Bolt got to pick up an ankle there. There. Oh, we've seen Ryan Bolt wrestling himself. Stays in that same position. Now he's got to hit his sucker drag right off of here. He's setting it up. That's a legitimate, late, make him work. That's a good call. Oh, he could have ran him over right there. See, we don't get any push-pull, push-pull. All right, there's a sucker drag. Now, he's gonna hit it. Watch it, he's gotta hit it. He got it. We have a minute, 20 seconds left of the first period. Rather dull, stayed match, neither man. Working hard. Justin Speedwalk. Ryan 
Bolt just doesn't feel comfortable on his feet, you know? That's been his problem all year. He's all right once he gets him on the mat. You got the whole mat, work on it. That was a beautiful jab with. Got him coming in, set it up. Very nice hold. Nice takedown, says the scoreboard. Did you catch that off the scoreboard then? Okay. Michigan defers, Ohio State takes down. Ryan Bull has to turn in, turn in on the man, keep turning, he's up too high, okay, two to one, Drop came out the back door and didn't know it was there. <laughs> what we're getting is one move wrestling, one move stop, one move. Hi, Ryan Bowles trying to uh, increase his intensity. He's got an overhook. Oh, let's see. We have Justin Spiewak with an overhook and an underhook. He should be able to... Uh, he didn't feel enough confidence to work off that hole. seconds to go the second period a very dull match neither man Seconds to go. Now Spiewak likes to work off of that overhook, underhook, headlock, but he won't uh, tie, try to throw off of that. All right, this is uh, where Ryan Bolt shines. Uh, you'll grind him out and try to pin him right off of here. See if what happens here. There it is. Zach Reinbold. Yeah. Michigan's telling him to look. They know it. He's looking at some of the Hey, ref, don't get rabbit ears. No rabbit ears. <laughs> 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 
Yeah, Russ is on him about that uh, one point for out of, you know, expensive wrestling. Swine both behind four to one. What's the four? Rock right back into it now, Justin. Rock right back into it. Rock those legs. What's going on here? Where's that other point? There you go, there you go. There you go. There you go. Reinbold has to go all out. Oh, there he tries the Helixson. There it is. He's got him. Two. Okay. Now he's going to stretch him. Good. I can't believe it. Forward. Oh boy. Ryan Bolt got to tilt him. Coming off a half series. Got a high Turk in there. The bottom man didn't even try to do anything. He didn't assess him a point. Thirty-four seconds to go. Ryan Bolt behind. Five to three. Trying to grind away with a half Nelson. One, five to four. <laughs> Referee gave them that one. That should have been a tie. All right, we have at uh, 177. Lanny Green, a sophomore for Michigan. Zero and two, up again. Dan Ritchie, 21 and nine. Oh, Ritchie did a nice job stabilizing that. Stop the fireman. Ritchie hit a nice limp arm, but it was wide open. He didn't follow through. He's got a double underhook. Richie should be able to take this guy down and five point him off an underhook. It's a nice single. Richie's all right. He's got a switch. He's got a switch to a double. There it is. Just took two. Too late on that switch, way too late. Got to hit it and initiate it a lot quicker. All right, you got to get a push pull. Richie, 21 to nine and two. Quite a record for a red-shirted freshman. Uh, up again, Dan Richie. How did he hit that? I didn't even know what watching. He did go uh, hip angle. He went straight in and hit the butt. Freshman. Zero and two. Richie should get out of that because that leg isn't in there that good. Still. 
Richie should come out clean. All right, getting that head driven to the mat. Got to try a leg elevated lift. Oh. Jamming that arm pretty good there. Got a bar arm. All right, he's got to turn in. Uh, he didn't have, he had that leg there and missed it. That ends the first period, Richie behind. Okay, Richie's got to get into it. Increasing the intensity. He's up against the zero and two man. Manny Green, a freshman. Ah, uh, shot way out. Telegraph that. Got long arms, you gotta pull them in. To finish it. Did you see that pansy referee? down to the end of the second period. We're not getting much action out of either man. All right. He's got to rotate. He's got to rotate. He's got to rotate. Get that head trap. Going to leave him go right away and then try to pull it out. I think he can take this guy down. He just got to do He had him for he two minutes. Yeah. Got to ride him a little. Got to break that. Now he's got to let him go unless he can. Guys out, the guys out. This guy's an overblown 77 pounder, Richie Cat. Oh boy, now this is a good move. The guy hit a heck of a Richie Connard with a For a guy zero and one, he's a pretty good wrestler, huh? Lanny Green, a freshman. Fifty 
seconds left of the third period. Richie behind, five zip. Guy got a nice belly bump. Okay, Richie. Now what he's got to do is butt drag. Hell, they get another point. That's uh, a four-pointer, so it's 17 to 13. Oh, I thought he got a oh, three-zip. Okay. He beat the heck out of Richard. I mean, Lurky is 29 and 6 up against the freshman Heath Edelblut. Edelblut up against 29 and 6, a powerful Fritz Lurky of the Michigan, Michigan Wolverines. He had him nailed. He couldn't get out. Okay, this is it. This is for all the marbles. We have Phil Tomic, 25 and 11 against Schultz. Eric Schultz, 10 and 5. Ohio State has never beaten Michigan in the modern era, so Schultz has it within his power. Schultz got us two on one right here. Schultz has been out quite a bit with a rib injury. Okay. Toe makes a power wrestler shooting weight out. I think. I'm going to put my money on Schultz this match here. I think Eric Schultz will come out. <laughs> Eric's got to shoot, though. Nice job sitting on that head. They're very calm, collected. We gotta watch a homer for this final match. <laughs> shoot, shoots way out. That's his first legitimate shot. Tomek has Schultz has an underhook. You gotta jack him up, Schultz. Jack him up. Rotate. Okay, pretty good.
good action for the big boys. Uh, it's very obvious here that uh, no score. Tomac is working with uh, Kurt Kraut. Now what's happening? Alright, Schultz has a two-on-one tie-up. Oh, nice move! Schultz Connors with a wizard series. Thirteen seconds left. Schultz has got to turn in and up. Ah, he stretched out. He finished that off real good for a big guy. He hit a single and then uh, rotated it real nice. Schultz cornered with a wizard. got to redrag. He can't stay there in that two-on-one. There it is. Okay. He should choke him out there with a front chancery there. Pick up an ankle. Got to pick up an ankle and snap back. He's not releasing there. He steps in. There it is. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful execution. Oh, look at this. He's going to stretch the big boy. That was a great ankle trip. Back heel. Phenomenal hold for heavyweight. The Michigan Wolverine youngster is now getting his head reapportioned. <laughs> All right, we got an intense match. All right, Schultz breaks him down with an arm bar. Pop that knee in there. He got it. Arch, arch. Got an arch. Oh boy, that was a blessing. It was too high. Now Schultz got to break him down for 46 seconds and knock the starch out of this guy. If he does, if he rides him. Second period. 46 seconds in the second period. Come out, Schultz got that knee bump. Beautiful! <laughs> Eric Schultz controls the destinies of the Buckeyes outcome here. Good call, ref. Caught him on a seat. Schultz got to throw in that knee. Pinch him. Good job. Break him down. There it is. Call it. Two. 
right and cut. Darling! Look at the stalling on the bottom, see? Look at that, he got 59 seconds, okay. At the end of the second period, one remains tied, two and two. Get out! Okay, Schultz. Right up, right up. He almost loses by one second when He's not going to lose it. He'll get out. Oh, three now? Oh. <laughs> hey! Turn into him, Schultz! Turn into him! What are you holding it for? for it. It was a lot more than that. It was about 10 seconds or more. Correct running time is a 46 second advantage for Ohio State. 46? Yeah, that's about right. It's at 10. Turn it on, Schultz! In and up! In and up! In and up! Don't turn away! Turn into him! You gotta turn in! Gotta reverse! I can't do nothing there. Okay! <laughs> he went to sleep. <laughs> that was a takedown. That was. <laughs> you know what's going to happen? One point stalling is going to be 3-3. Three, three. The verdict's already drawn, unless... Schultz got to try that back heel trip again. Ohio State beat Michigan and since Cliff Keen resigned as head coach of the Wolverines, a fantastic victory. We even had a little assistance from the ref. <laughs> Michigan wrestles Wisconsin tomorrow, Washington Arena, 2 p.m.
Okay, it's my good fortune to have your head coach, uh, Russ. Uh, I think this is the first victory Ohio State University wrestlers have had over Michigan since the dawn of time. Uh, well, can a, you? It's the first win uh, that uh, we've had against Michigan since I have uh, been at Ohio State. Well, I can't but, recollect uh, any time in the past. I think we'd have to go way back before a notable victory of this important. What does this do to the squad, to your aims and ambitions for the remainder of the season? Well, Michigan's a, a tough team, and I guess I, uh, Michigan had, uh, you know, one of their better kids out of their lineup. Uh, I mean. I mean, so yeah. it, it gives back to us a little advantage coming into that match. Uh, uh, I felt the match, you know, the ball was going to be very close up and down the line, but uh, I was impressed the way we came out, particularly the way we scored when we had to score. Some of the matches shouldn't have been as close in the lighter weights as they were, but we went after it and won the matches, and uh, I guess I was more impressed uh, in the whole match with the inside trip that my heavyweight did. Uh, oh, that Chelsea was magnificent, did. yeah. Uh, you don't see that with a, with a big man. But Now, th this is a positive win because Michigan has a very good program, and Ohio State, our record against them isn't very good. It's, it's kind of ironic that when I coached at Wisconsin, we never lost to Michigan while I was there, and uh, this is the first time that we won. So it's a positive turnaround to get that jinx kind of off your back to beat a team. Uh, so like you Michigan. have the hex on Michigan. Now, uh, let us have your comments on... <clears throat> Two last second victories by the DeSabitos. Well, again, I'll say they shouldn't have been that close. I think, I think we're a lot better wrestlers than those two, although I give them a lot of credit. Both of those guys came out and went right after us, and uh, we needed to suck it up at the end to score. And uh, You know, it's the difference in the match. Uh, both Adam and Mike scored a takedown, took that shot, and went after it with time running out, and uh, they ended up winning a duel for us. Okay, now, how about Marinelli uh, annihilating... Well, I think he did a nice job. Gilbert, uh, he's going to be a great wrestler for yeah. Michigan. I don't take anything away from that. He, he has tremendous aggressiveness. He's got a style. Uh, he's, he's dangerous no matter where you got him. But Mark has really matured. He's mentally tougher when he approaches a match, and he's really wrestling smart. He gets taken down, but it doesn't phase him. He comes back, and he's doing smart things to take away uh, position advantage from his kids. I'm getting re really impressed with him as the season goes on. Doing sequential wrestling. The only yes. fault we saw of Mark, he'd get to the edge of the mat and one circle. And I noticed uh, Michigan uh, had a strategy of uh, controlling the edge of the mat yeah. there. Well, it Again, I think we let up a couple times on the edge rather than turn and take it to them and go off the mat. We kind of backed off and waited a little bit in hopes that maybe they'd back in. And we can't do that. Uh, it seems like we rotate from one match to another, which guys do it. You know, in one match, uh, I've never seen Adam do it. Adam wasn't a guy to do it, but Range has done it a little bit. Now tonight, Marinelli did it a little bit, but uh, you got to get to the point where you never do that. You, you know, and that's something that you got to work on for a long period of time to get guys so they do that. And, uh, you know, we need to work a little bit more on it. Well, Coach, uh, I'm sure you're going to have a uh, joyful ride back to Columbus, Ohio, and that will give you the opportunity. Also, Russ is bringing the Russian to Columbus, Ohio. What's that date? April 8th, uh, 2 o'clock in the afternoon. We're going to have a clinic uh, 12 o'clock before it with uh, Ivan Uregan, the Soviet coach. Lee Camp is going to be at it. So we're, we're hoping to fill St. John Arena. I mean, it, uh, I don't know if it's a possible thing, but that can be as big as the event itself. Uh, we'd like to get the largest international crowd to ever watch the Soviets. Uh, I think 13,000 plus people in St. John would really show them where the stronghold of wrestling is in America right here in, in, in Ohio. Very good. Uh, Russ, good luck on your continued Big Ten pursuit of victory and the NCAA and uh, we'll be watching your movements in the future and congratulations on a very noteworthy victory. Thanks a lot. Bro. Very good.
Thank you.